A man goes into the governor's office and starts filming and the cops get called. This is a crazy audit. Hey guys, welcome back to Audit Rewind. Here on this channel, I rewind and react to my favorite audits and also give my opinions. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new and this is the type of content you'd enjoy. I upload every single day and also please consider leaving a like on today's video before we get started. So this first clip, as you can see, is from First Amendment Network. He's at the government's off governor's office and he is doing a First Amendment protected activity. And uh, it's his freedom of speech, freedom of press, asking a couple questions, etc. And uh, yeah, I want to see what they have to say because apparently one of them tries to go as far as to say that this is in fact private property. Uh, again, I like to see how they try and justify that. I'll leave a link down below to First Amendment Network in my description box. Please go subscribe to his channel and let's get started with the reaction. And for the most part. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, what's going on today? Uh, well, nothing. I just walked in. I'm being very nice. I asked a question. I said, hey, how's it going? Are you state police? He said he's not. I said, how can I... Uh, have a meeting with the governor yeah. but but he's like oh no you're shaking but the thing is i know they're state police he he refused to tell me his name or that he's a cop he said he's just a security guard okay i have no problems yep. i'm just a camera guy working on a story All right. and i have the right to be here right as long as i'm not creating a disturbance or i'm not creating a problem correct unless they deem that you being here is causing a problem then they can ask how, you to leave. how, he how is that for a meeting i said he's in a meeting and that's fine and and and, and, and that's okay i can accept that obviously i said obviously i already knew that i wasn't going to be able to sit down with the governor without an, a meeting but i guess it was worth a try yep. now if i have no issues whatsoever and i'm not doing anything wrong or breaking the law these gentlemen can just out of their feelings believe that you know well he's creating a problem here and they they have to enforce the law and their feelings cannot be invo involved okay, well this isn't a, a law issue right now anyhow this is just the fact that you were you are up here these are private offices though also i mean this isn't just general public yeah, place where anybody can go well back there i i can i can understand but yeah. the governor's office is a public place it's a public building well, he works for us but they're still private offices they're, they're correct back there yes this, this is a public forum right here so, well, so not, that's not why it's because this door's locked most of the time well, it wasn't when I got here. Okay. And and we have the right to, you know, make an appointment you or make anything. An appointment, absolutely. So, yep. how can I, okay, now I don't want an appointment no more. I just like to complain on him and on you because you said I was being loud when I really wasn't and I have everything on video. And we have millions of people that watch her. Right now, in the first few hours that we post a video, over 27,000 people will watch this video. Okay. So, we just want respect. That, that's it. It is actually. How many people have you shown something to in the. The auditor is being really calm and really respectful. The cop seems like he's just run a marathon. I have no idea why he is so out of breath still two minutes into the audit. I don't know if he has a condition or something or if he actually did just run to the scene thinking that this was a very dangerous situation. <laughs> Typical, yeah. Audit is always seen as a massive threat for some reason. Maybe because they uh, unearth the truth and hold people accountable. Anyway, the cop's trying to say, look, you are not allowed here if you are seen to be causing a disturbance again that's a that's a phrase that's left open for i don't know misinterpretation because a disturbance could be someone else's view of just standing there or it could be someone kicking and screaming at people it depends really what he's saying is listen if they want you to leave they're gonna kick you out i don't agree with that i want to keep watching and see what actually happens because the auditor is standing up for his rights and he's trying to educate these two guys. Nobody. So just okay, make sure. So what do you need today now while we're here? I just need his name and batch number and his name and batch number so I could be on my way and, and file the proper complaint against you. Because you lied. You're not supposed to be lying to the public. That's unprofessional. What's so funny? We're in a private, we're in a private office. You're, you're not. Private office. You're, you're not. Private you're not. Private this office. is the governor's it's office. I didn't office. I didn't go to the Walmart CEO I, I office. Side of the street. I didn't, I didn't this is you. this is the same no, thing right here. No, it's not, it's not you have the wrong you have the wrong idea where you, you don't know what you're working at, sir. That's the problem. Well okay, here's the thing. Your recourse here uh, would be to contact one of the, the troops. Correct. Governor Correct. security is separate from state capital police department. But they're being paid by the state, right? They're yeah. hired by the state. Listen, listen to me. They're separate from the state capital police department. We have no direct affiliation. Correct, but they're state so, police. So, so, so if you need to 
follow up with something with them, you'll need to contact Troop H in Hartford. Or contact How am I supposed to complain if I don't know the name? That we can find out for you, okay? Okay, so just, just tell me your name, that's it. Here, here's the deal, to be honest with you, they're not uniformed police officers. So, so I, they can give listen, me orders. Let me, let me talk, let me talk. Sure, go ahead. I don't know what the exact rules are for what they have to disclose to you as part of governor security it's just your name that's why you have your name right there because i'm a uniformed police officer so, plain clothes police well, officers well they don't they, they they work for the governor obviously they got time to wear their their nice suits and whatever but they don't have time to be courteous and professional to the public uh, i don't know about that no you weren't i said hey how's it going what's your name and this guy goes oh yawns really disrespectful disrespectful yeah, guys make sure you leave a comment and let them know how they did. Also contact the uh, Connecticut State Capitol and let them know how officer over here with no name, an officer over here with no name, I appreciate Officer Devin, is that your name? Yes. Officer Devin, he's being courteous and professional. He also has a body cam, which we can request that video for further uh, uh, documentation so of your, our visit. Is your business done here now? Uh, not really. I really want to know their name so I could be out. Right, so we're, what's we're, your name? We're going to follow that a little more. Why don't we step outside here now and we'll, we'll worry about that afterwards. But why don't we... Is uh, that like, a, are you giving me a legal order? No, I just asked you to. So I can nicely refuse, right? right? As long as I'm not interfering, I have the right to sit here and work on my story. Nah. You're, you're framing me with stuff that I'm not I'm doing. Not yes, you are. Okay, there's business going on this, is, this is business because you see these videos are being taxed yeah. and a lot. You see, so if the government wants their cut out of my earnings from my videos, right? Because this is my job. You have to respect that. You can't just tell me I can't do it and then tax me. You go find out. I like that attitude. We'll see how long you last working. All right. You'll see. Yeah, I know because police officers don't hold themselves accountable and you feel like you're all, um, you're above everybody, everybody else. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. But you see, you're going to end up doing the walk of shame because right now you may win. This officer may tell me to leave right now. There are so many better ways that the officer could have gone about this. Same with the employees at the governor's office. They could have been respectful. They could have accommodated what the auditor needed or wanted, even if it was just to film for a few minutes. And if this particular room is publicly accessible, then there is no issue with that. However, he could also want a FOIA request, a complaint form, ask some questions, but instead they come over and they seem to just be jumping straight on the good old trespass bandwagon, trying to kick him out for apparently causing a disturbance. I don't think he's causing a disturbance whatsoever. The cop seems to be trying to keep some neutral ground, which isn't making sense because he's basically siding with the employees, saying that if they want to kick you out, then they're allowed to. I don't know, but it looks like that's what they're going to do. Things might change. Let's take a look at part three and see if anything actually does. Right? And I will leave if he gives me a lawful order because you know what I'm saying? I'm not breaking the law and this is a public area. So if he gives me a lawful order to leave, I will make sure that this is indeed a lawful order because mm -hmm. I am. Uh, you can't just say, yeah, it's a lawful order. I have a lot of police. I do this. I've been doing this for six years, bro. Six years. Monday through through Sunday. Okay. Every single day. Okay. I'm not so out there to, to I, create I, I a keep, problem. I'm not going to keep debating this all day long. So, I, I, okay, he's not, he's not going to give me the name. What about you? Names. Are you going to give me your name? No. What about you, ma'am? You guys just, that, that's, the, that's the people we got working for the state. This is supposed to be the Constitution okay. state, and you don't respect it. Let's, let's walk out here and talk. Okay, all sure. Right. Thank you, sir. Is it, okay, sure. All right, so Sergeant, how, how, how's it going? You should have told me you're supervisor. Yeah, I appreciate. He just walked up. He just right. walked up. I was at the old state house visiting over there. Nice, nice to meet you, Sergeant. 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 I'm Enrique. What's your name? I'm Enrique. Nice to meet Enrique? you. Yes, sir. Right, we have Enrique. we have millions of views in our in our platform, and we know where we're supposed to be and where we're not. These are uh, this is the governor's office. As long as I'm not interfering or creating a disturbance or breaking any laws, mm -hmm. I have the right to go in there and sit right there and work on my story because these videos are being taxed. Mm -hmm. So there's no way that they can tell me that I can exercise my First Amendment mm -hmm. on the constitu in the Constitution state. Mm -hmm. So that brings that that brings a lot of uh, this is highly suspicious. You know what I'm saying? This is the governor's office. His people are, 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 are not willing to identify, so they're breaking policy. Okay, well, we've identified ourselves, right? So you, we're you're, good. We're good, you're, you're, good. Okay. you're good, but uh, the thing is, in this, you, in you... This building, in this building, 
there are, there are public areas and there are semi-public areas when it comes down to it, going through. Out here, you're perfectly fine. You can be out here all day long if you want to be outside right here where you are. Absent having an appointment or something like that going through, there's specific areas in this building that you wouldn't be able to go into. So you have- This is right there. Screw you. This guy has the right to be here. You can't just because so they have a badge. Sergeant Berger told you there's private, there's public areas and there's semi-private areas, and this is one. So the gov why doesn't the governor go before he before he he asks people to vote for him? Why doesn't he say, hey, don't come up to don't come to my office because it's private, citizens? Well, it's not it's not like that. Though. He would never do that, you, right? You can call in and you make an appointment. And but I'm, I'm sure there'd be people that you probably wouldn't be able to meet with the governor. You'd probably be meeting with one of his aides. And that's a that's my business card on the back. That's the phone number for constituent services. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, man. Here you go, man. Thank right, you bye. very much. Okay. Thank you very much. You guys enjoy your day and, and uh, keep standing for the Constitution. Don't forget that the most important thing is the Constitution in the Constitution state. Gotcha. You guys Appreciate take care. Okay. It, buddy. Bye bye. Bye. Toward the end of this clip, the other officer that arrived said that there are public areas in the building and there are also semi-public areas. I have no idea what he's trying to say or imply by this. Perhaps he means that they are offices that can be open to the public if they are invited in or book an appointment. Maybe that's what he is trying to say. So they will be publicly accessible, but by appointment only. So perhaps they're trying to say that where he was standing here was actually not open to the public in this particular scenario again it's so confusing i can't really wrap my head around it but as a whole i think that the employees here were scared of him and his camera why do i think that well it's because they wouldn't identify themselves maybe they thought that he was some bad guy or some horrible nasty man that disliked all of them i don't know but at the end of the day i don't see an issue with identifying yourself if you're a governor's building employee uh, then it doesn't really matter, you know, because it's all public information anyway. He could surely put in a foyer and get the details that way. So do you know what I mean? It's like, it's not like they can hide that information. All you have to do is submit a foyer. So I don't know why they just didn't give the name. It didn't make any sense. As for the officer, he seemed a bit hesitant as to what to do. He seemed worried, like he didn't want to trespass the guy. He kind of didn't know what to do because he knew that the guy had his rights, his First Amendment freedom of press rights. But at the same time, he also is trying to keep the employees happy, who said that that particular room he is not welcome into and uh, that it's against their policy, yeah, policy to fill. Go subscribe to First Amendment Network. Link down below to his channel in my description box security guard up next we have a video by carolina auditor that i wanted to react to and give my opinions i also wanted to give a massive shout out to his channel which i will link down below in my description box at the top so you guys can all go subscribe show him some love and support for his activism this is an audit outside of a prison we have an officer here notice them filming he immediately comes over and tries to figure out what's going on Again, I don't know if it's freezing cold or if he's trying to hide his identity with that mask being up or, well, it's like a neck warmer type thing, the type of thing that bikers wear. But the officer is trying to say that they are on private property. Again, I can't tell where they're stood, but from what it looks like, they're not on the property. Again, I'm not there, so I wasn't there to see for certain, but it looks to me like they're kind of past the grass verge away from the parking lot and almost like as if they'd be on an easement or a sidewalk here so let's get more of the details and i'm going to criticize react and review this clip security guard uh would not like for you guys to step onto the property yeah, we already know we know that man okay we, we don't we don't do that i've seen you before yeah i just saw you out of yeah we we, we know we've been doing this a while we know not to be on private uh, you know private property we got it i'm sure yeah um yeah just uh make sure you don't step we on got, we, you, you just said that i told you we got it there's no sense of repeating yourself just wasting wasting oxygen plenty there's plenty of oxygen yeah yeah right right well, we got it man we grown we two grown men we know what to do uh i mean do you usually come up to grown men and tell them what to do but they don't break the law 
Is that what you, you do? Are you antagonistic? Are you, are, you, are you the feelings police or you're a law enforcement officer? I'm a law enforcement officer. Okay. I'm just letting you know not to Stop with the feelings then, okay? I don't have any feelings okay. towards this. It sounds like you do. We, we don't need to direct them. We got it, man. Okay. We two grown men, right? Treat us as such. That's what I'm doing. Although you're being... Well, you know, you're telling us something that we, you know we already know this, right? I don't know that. Come on, man. Look at, look us up. Okay. We'll see you again later. I'm sure. Is this going to be an all day thing? Probably so. All right. Probably so. We go around to educate officers and security and members of the public. That's what we do. Uh, what, what kind of education do you do? Didn't you just educate him? Hmm? Didn't you just educate that guy over there? You said that you do that. I know, that's right. We, I educated him because he called you. What did you Now he's got to educate. Now he understands that we can... So far, it seems like this officer is giving useless directives to these guys because he somehow, I don't know, either one wants to feel powerful and is bored during his shift, Two actually is ignorant and has no idea where the property lines begin or end, hence why they had to tell him and educate him that they are in fact not stood on the property. And three, um, I don't know, he just likes to borderline violate people's rights, but obviously that's highly unlikely. However, it is a possibility because there are officers, security cops out there that actually enjoy it and have even said that in some cases. Now, let's just say that this isn't going too well for the officer and he is beginning to look a bit silly. So it's a good thing he does have this uh, neck scarf up over his mouth. So no one actually knows uh, which officer it is because I'm sure if his colleagues saw this, they would think uh, he needs retraining. Let's keep watching part two. Right, in public. Right? Didn't you, didn't you tell him that? No, I didn't tell him. You didn't tell him that? He didn't even ask. So he don't, he don't know? He didn't ask. He okay, just well, wanted to make sure. Okay, well, you should have told him that we, we allowed to film out here in public. Yeah. Right? That would have been the best thing to do. I said that you, you're not filming him specifically. You're filming the building. Well, I was when he walked up to me. Okay. Because yeah, I was over there. Yeah, just like we told the people at Cat, you guys, it's a one-party consent state. You can film whoever you'd like. Right on. There you go. Okay. So you did educate him there. They were just concerned about what your guys' intentions were. Just filming? Yeah, yeah but and educating in the process now everybody knows and uh it's all good everybody I, meaning who everybody that was involved today him you and uh, us we all have an understanding that it's okay to film in public well, we already knew that we're just trying to educate others yeah okay this we're just like trying to get along it's like when your partner come up early you're talking about who was on their property on the grass i never said that I never said that. I said your partner. He's not my partner. Yes, he did. Before you got there. We don't have partners. We're right alone. Huh? We don't have partners. Whoever that blue. Come on, man. The guy that drove up before you. Is that better? I was. That's what. But he, I was not yeah. privy to that conversation. I know that. That's why I'm, I'm telling you what he said. What okay. you doing? You know exactly what you're doing. Your intent is to educate my, officers my and intent, the public, correct? Well, there you. Well. I think at this point I'll leave. Hope you two have a good day. I'm sure we'll see each other again. So let's just try and be fair and neutral right now. If we were in the officer's shoes, you have to remember that perhaps he feels pressurized that maybe they're going to step back on the property and then it would be his responsibility to act or take action. Well, again, that's only when he can do anything like that. So until then, he's going to have to just either stare at them all day until they leave or just relax and go inside and realize that these guys are just First Amendment auditors exercising their freedom of press rights. They're not there to break anyone out. They're not there to damage things. They're not there to steal cars. Listen, whatever happened to officers having common sense? Someone who is going to break people out, someone who is going to steal cars, steal property or hurt people, nine times out of ten, I know there are some exceptions and those exceptions are usually mentally unstable people, but nine times out of ten, people who are going to commit any of those crimes do it under the cover of darkness, silent, hiding and sneakily as possible. 
These auditors are quite literally in the open, filming, stood in the most plain view place, and somehow the officers are still making assumptions that they might be about to commit crimes. Really? Like, I, I just don't like it when they do that. I don't. You know, it's like when cops try and pick grounds out their backside, or re reasonable articulable suspicion out of thin air. Anyway, go subscribe to Carolina Auditor. Please support his work. Sean was at the Department of Transportation doing an audit inside of the publicly accessible areas of the building and he was told by the employees that he is not allowed to film there. Sean is the guy who runs Long Island Audit, most of you all know, probably all of you know who he is because he's so big on YouTube. I'll leave a link to his channel in my description box along with the other channels I've reacted to today. So if you aren't subscribed, go pop him a sub and check out his videos. I'm going to give my reactions and criticism to this clip. The employees of this Department of Transportation building are not too educated in the First Amendment or the freedom of press, uh, independent journalist rights. I think they've never encountered an auditor before, so they're a bit worried. They don't know what to do. They're a little hesitant. However, they do decide to call the police, and when the police arrive, everything changes. So I'm not going to tell you what happened. I'm not going to ruin it. Let's go and get started. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Who are you? We work for the department. How did you get in? How did I get in? Yeah. Oh, I just walked to the door. Is this like a restricted area? Yes. yes. This is the government uh, building. What are you looking for? What, what place are you looking for? Well, my, who are you, sir? I, just, I, I don't know who you guys are. Well, we, we work, work, work here. <laughs> right. But that's, who are you is that, the question, because you're in you're in PennDOT's building here. Yeah, you're right. in the state yeah. government building of which you're not permitted to be. You don't Why am I not to? permitted to? Because you're not an employee. You're not an employee of only per, only employees are permitted in this building. Exactly. Let's, let's head up. Why let's are, head downstairs. Come on. Why, why are you here? Well, I'm I'm a journalist. What's your names? No, no, no. Let's go. No. Let's go. I'm yes. gonna call so, the cops. If you're gonna get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops. Well, you can call, ma'am. No, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't you don't need to touch me, okay? No, no, listen. You don't need to touch me. Okay. Relax, sir. No, no. Who are you? No, it doesn't matter. Who are you? You're going to have to leave the building now. Chris, I am trying to. You no. keep grabbing me. Let's, let's go. I'm We're not out touching here. you. Let's you go. didn't touch me, ma'am? Really? You're not, you're not moving, Please sir. leave. Let's go. This is publicly accessible. I got here. No, through a publicly this is accessible not. Door. There's a lock on the... You can't... You have to get... How'd you get through? I just opened the door. It was what open. Do, what door? The front door. You can't come through you the front door. I did. That's There's exactly no what way. just happened. Well, show us where you came through. How about that? Okay, sure. I'm going to take the elevator over here. We're going this way. Come on. I'll take the elevator down. I'm leaving, sir. I'm leaving. Excuse me. Listen, you're, I, you're not. I was just taking access. a tour around the public building there's, here. There, you're not allowed to do that. This is not a public yeah. building, and please yes. shut off your camera. No, ma'am. Well, you know what? We'll call the cops. So right now there seems to be a massive issue revolving around the fact that they think Sean has somehow broken into the building. Sean has repeated over and over again that he came through the front door that was actually open and was not locked. So this is an issue. If they're trying to say that the building itself is completely private and it is not publicly accessible, then why would they leave doors open? Why would they not put signs up and why would they not, you know, put restrictions? Sean would never ever go past a restricted sign because he knows then he would be trespassing and it would be illegal. Same with if he tried to break into a building with locked doors, that would be even more illegal and he would never ever do that. So right now it seems to be a fault on their part that maybe now they'll learn from this to put restricted access signs up and lock their front door. If and only if it truly is private, which wouldn't make much sense if it's a department of transportation. Uh, I don't know too much about that if it is publicly run or if it is receiving tax tax dollars You guys will probably know way more than me. So comment that down below. Let's keep watching Facts is it not open you, to the public did you report to the receptionist is the question no there okay. nobody told me I passed her They you, never told you, you me don't have to. so I have to sign in here and then I can go in no. Why not? Yeah but it's a public building. It's funded by taxpayers, we're not, we're is it not? We're not, we're not going to argue with you. I'm sorry? <laughs> I'm filming everything. Yeah, I film my... That's what a journalist does. He documents his uh, experiences, ma'am. So this is open to the public, right? Just so we're clear. What do you mean by this? 
this. The lobby? Obviously, right? I, I don't know. I mean, you guys are just making things restricted no, out of no, nowhere. No, I never said anything about restricted. All I said was you have to report to the receptionist when you come in here. If you're not an employee and able to badge in. Right. Exactly. Again, the door was left open, sir. I don't know. It, the door was open when I when I pulled on it. And I passed yeah, them. Yeah, you're telling me I came in here, sir, and I filmed all around here. And then I walked into the door. Okay. They saw me. I mean, I don't see the... I, I'm just telling you that... Everybody in this, and everybody in this building. So, what kind of services? What kind of services do you offer badge, here in the? Has a badge to get into the building. What kind of? Oh no, no, I don't. Okay. I didn't think I was. I, I just wanted to. St I was actually going to leave, but. Yeah. So the, I, uh, this is, here's the thing. So I, I want to speak to you guys. Management is asking you to leave. Okay, we're local authority. We are not asking you to leave by any means. It's a state building, it's up to the state police to handle their own issues. Right. If they don't want to come, that's on them. If they want you detained and arrested, that's on them. We are not detaining you, we are not arresting you. You have, Are you willing to give ID? Are you willing um, to show I, your I ID really, just to us for my name is My name is Sean. Okay, my name is Sean. So you're, you're like I said, we're not detaining yeah. you, we're not arresting you, we're not doing anything, we're not removing you from this building. Right. They are asking you to leave, as, as far as I'm concerned, that's a public lobby. Right. Okay. Yeah, and again, sir, I, I want to make it very fact, clear. I had no, no sign, idea. Right. There's no signs. I, I figured it was no a signs. public building open there's to no the public. There's no signs that say employees only. Right, yeah. So I, the door that's... was not secured when you went through. Right. That's on them. Right. They need to handle that issue and address that issue. And right. And that's all I was just okay. telling them, sir. That's so, all I was saying. Yeah, that's... What I like about the ending of this video is that the cop, although seemed a bit, you know, like siding with the employees, he also gave his opinion, which was actually the correct thing to do. It's funny because he kind of said, yeah you, yeah they don't want you in here he's like being all official and then he just kind of breaks character for a second and gives his opinion he's like as far as i'm aware i think that's a public lobby so yeah i don't really have an issue with you being there it's like bro please just uh, why can't you enforce like that with that attitude that is the correct thing and even more crazy and great is he mentions about no signage no restricted signs, no doors locked, etc. So he has mentioned uh, two really important things there, the officer to Sean, and that's really good to see. What do you guys think of this audit? Give me opinions in the comment section down below. The employees were ver very shocked to see Sean in the corridors. They escorted him down. Uh, they probably never had anything like this happen before, and it, I can tell by their body language they probably haven't. But now they most likely are going to put signs everywhere and possibly even start locking some of the doors. <laughs> anyway, go subscribe to Sean's channel. Link down below to that. Unfortunately, we've made it to the end of today's video. Please subscribe if you're new and drop a like on today's video to show your support. And also go check out all the auditors I have reacted to today, which will be in my description box.